Welcome to the EcoFasten Design Assistant User Tutorial, your one-stop app to quickly design EcoFasten racking arrays and produce detailed bill of materials and engineering reports. Design Assistant is currently compatible with EcoFasten's rail-based click-fit system for composition rooftops and with EcoFasten's rail-less rocket system for composition, tile, and metal rooftops. Design Assistant works on the Google Chrome browser. Visit efda.solar today to set up an account. Upon logging into the Design Assistant, you will be directed to the project window. You can open any saved project or folder here. To open a project, double-click its name. The primary Design Assistant navigation bar is located at the left of the screen in the blue column. The Import button lets you load a project based on its project ID, even if you do not have it saved to your account. To start a new project, click the plus button. The Worksheet button can be toggled on and off depending on which mode you would like to design in, Worksheet or Map View. You can switch modes at any point during the design process. Now select which EcoFasten racking system you are designing for, the rail-based click-fit system or the rail-less rocket system. Additional EcoFasten racking systems will be added to the design assistant in the future. Enter a zip code or full address. This will be the default project name. You can edit the project name from the dashboard. The wind exposure category, wind speed, and snow load will automatically populate based on the zip code unless you have selected a test case area. All of this data can be manually adjusted using the drop-down menus. Click the Module button to find the module you are using for the job. Use the drop-down menus to select the module manufacturer, series, and wattage. If you are using a module that is not on the drop-down list, click on the Custom Module button. Here you can access custom modules that you have already created and saved or create a new module by pressing the plus button. Name the module and then specify power output, dimensions, thickness, weight, and cell count. Then click save to add it to your list of custom modules. Lastly, enter the roof slope. You can enter it in either degrees or pitch. Maximum Roof Height selection box will default to the maximum roof height for the racking system you are designing on. Lastly, select the roof type. The rocket system can be installed on composition shingle, tile, and metal rooftops. Design assistant functionality for tile roofs using the ClickFit system will be available soon. Click the Create button to start designing your array. You have now entered the project window. At the top right corner of the screen, you have the option of naming the array. You can add additional arrays to the job by clicking this tab. Clicking on the grid area of the worksheet allows you to add or remove a module. You can also click and drag to add multiple modules at once, or delete multiple modules. The orientation buttons allow for you to switch module orientations. You can switch the entire array to landscape. Or you can click the combo array button and change the orientation of one or more individual rows of modules. The stagger button will set the entire worksheet to a 50% module offset. The shift button allows for you to fine adjust a module's position. Select a module and then enter the number of inches you would like to move the module and then choose left or right to move the module in that direction. The grid settings allow you to adjust the size of the worksheet by adding additional rows or columns of modules. You can adjust roof settings, including height, rafter spacing, and slope for any array at any time while you are designing. It is also easy to change the module selection here. The settings button in the blue navigation bar to the left will provide all of the information about your current project, including the number of modules and total output of the array. 
You can design with the setting window open if you choose, and this data will automatically update. It is also possible to adjust the wind speed, snow load, wind exposure, and building risk categories here. The EcoFastSim Design Assistant also has an option for designing your array in map view, which uses Google satellite imagery of the job. You can toggle the worksheet mode to map view when you start a new project, or you can click the map view button located in the settings at any time. You can zoom in and out of the map, or hold the cursor down to adjust your position on the map. Click the outline button to create a design grid over the satellite image. Design Assistant will then ask you to locate the gutter. Design your array just like you would in worksheet mode, clicking or dragging to add and remove modules. To add a second array to the job, click the outline button again and draw out the next array. The adjust tool allows for you to find adjust the shape of the roof by moving the position of the corners. You can adjust the position of the midpoints to create more complex roof shapes. The move button allows for you to move the entire roof outline over the satellite image. Toggle between the arrays by clicking the array tabs. Only one array is active at a time. All of the orientation and offset buttons available in worksheet mode are available here as well and function the same way. Click the grid button to move the position of the module grid within the roof outline. Roof height, rafter spacing, slope, roof type, and module type can all be adjusted. When you are done designing your array, click the Report button. When you have completed your array design in either worksheet mode or map view, click the Report button to enter the Material Selection page. The exposed panel note reminds users that ASCE 7-16 includes increased wind pressures for exposed modules, which can affect rail spans. You can click the Expose checkbox here to make sure that your engineering report includes exposed module data. This option can also be toggled on and off on the Material Selection page. The Material Selection page provides a bill of materials based on your design and allows for you to specify components, add accessories, and adjust these quantities. Rail span, mount spacing, cantilever, and system weight data have been calculated based on your design. Click the Exposed checkbox to view edge spans, edge mount spacing, and edge cantilever if your array is going to be installed to the ASCE 7-16 standard. The Rail Length buttons allow for you to specify what length of rail you would like to use on a project. The Mount button allows for you to select the mounts. The mounts available for selection are determined by the type of rooftop and the racking system you designed on. Maximum mount spacing can be selected here. This switch allows for you to toggle on or off a staggered mount option. Choose the color for the flashings by highlighting these boxes. If your array includes module level power devices, Check the MLPE box to add EcoFasten MLPE mounts to your bill of materials. Then choose between our frame MLPE mount or the rail attached click fit MLPE mount. Check the module jumper box to add the requisite amount of module bonding jumper clips to your bill of materials. The add accessories button allows you to access additional accessories and mounts. 65 and 80 inch skirts are available. The correct skirt width will auto-populate based on the width of the modules used in your array design. The software has now calculated a complete bill of materials for the array. If your project consists of multiple arrays, a separate column of totals will appear for each array. Click on the Array Name button to preview an engineering report for the array. 
You can adjust the quantities for any component by clicking the up or down arrows. The design assistant will automatically save all of the selections you have made here. When you are satisfied with your bill of materials, click the export BOM to export a CSV file of the bill of materials. Click the engineering report button to download your engineering report and a detailed layout of each array with all the information the installer needs on the roof. The share button in the blue navigation column provides a variety of ways to share your project. The shareable project ID can be sent to other design assistant users and will allow them to pull up your project. Likewise, copy paste the project URL to allow for you or any other design assistant user to access the project. It is also possible to share the reports without sharing the project. Enter one or more email addresses and add any message you would like to include. Then click the boxes to select Bill of Materials, Engineering Report, or both, and click Send. The Resource button allows you to access a series of drop-down menus. State-based span tables for the ClickFit system are available by clicking on this link. The product drop-down provides links to the ClickFit page on the Ecofasten website along with optional mounting solutions. There are also links to Ecofasten product installation tutorial videos and product technical documentation. Click the support button to contact the Ecofasten design assistant team for assistance. Clicking on the Home button in the navigation bar will bring you back to the project window. Let's take a look at the file storage system, where you can organize your project by creating customizable folders and subfolders. All of these folders are stored in the column on the left. The dashboard on the right will display all of your projects. If you click on a folder, it will display the projects inside that folder. Click the folder icon to create a new folder. The Folder Options icon gives you the opportunity to edit the folder name, add a subfolder, or delete the folder. To add one or more projects to a folder, click the checkbox located to the left of any project located in the dashboard. Then click the Add to Folder icon in the top right corner to either add the project to a folder or create a new folder and add the project to it. To open any project, double click it. To delete projects, select one or more project and then click the trash icon in the top right corner. Deleted projects will be stored in the recycle bin until the bin has been emptied. You can access the recycling bin and reinstate projects by clicking on its icon at the bottom of the folders column. There is also a search bar that will allow you to search through all of your folders to find a specific project. For more information on the Ecofasten Design Assistant, check out efda.solar or reach out to Ecofasten's training department by emailing info at ecofastensolar.com.